having seen different kinds of assignments and uh, meet over paths assignment and uh, maximum fixed point assignment let's not talk about the let's not talk about the existence and the computability of mop and mfp assignment so we begin by talking about the existence of mop assignment what guarantees that an mop assignment can exist so mop is defined recall as a uh, as a meet over all paths when a path flow function is applied to boundary information if if a finite number of paths reach p then the existence of the solution trivially follows because uh, a glb exists for non empty finite subsets of the lattice assuming that uh, the data flow values form a meet semi lattice and of course the function space is closed under composition so f rho is defined for every rho so when we have uh, when we have a finite number of paths then the existence of uh, meet over paths trivially follows from the definition of a meet semi lattice and the closure property of the function space uh but if we don't if we can't say that the number of paths is finite then we need to do a bit of argument uh, uh to to include the finiteness uh, reason so mop then is defined as f rho 1 applied to bi f rho 2 applied to bi f rho 3 applied to bi and like this so this is an infinite meet so we are trying to merge the data flow values across an infinite number of paths so if we give this a name x1 and we give this meet a name x2 it's clearly uh, seen that x2 is weaker than x1 because x2 is equal to x1 meet something else and therefore the result of x1 meet something else which is equal to has uh, which is x2 uh it must be weaker than x1 so every meet results in a weaker value what that means is that the sequence x1 x2 x3 follows a descending chain okay and since all strictly descending chains are finite even if the number of paths is infinite we know that a finite number of paths will give us the mop that we are looking for uh, this comes from the fact that strictly descending chains are finite so we know that the meet over paths solution exists of course this is assuming that our meet semi lattice satisfy uh, satisfies dcc uh so if we can guarantee that mop solution exists can we say that it is computable so it turns out that it need not be computable because we might have to traverse an infinite number of paths in order to compute the solution so one path is just p1 p2 the other path is p1 p2 p3 p2 so we go over the loop once and then we go over the loop again and then we go over the loop again so we might have to traverse an infinite number of paths and therefore our solution may not our computation may not terminate and therefore in general mop solution is in uncomputable formally it is proved in the following way formally the argument that mop computation is undecidable is made by reducing mpcp which is modified post correspondence problem to constant propagation so which means that we can model mpcp problem as a constant propagation so if we have a solution of constant propagation that solution can then be translated into a solution of mpcp problem however mpcp is known to be undecidable so if an algorithm exists for detecting all constants then mpcp would become decidable which is not possible since mpcp is undecidable it follows that there cannot exist an algorithm for detecting all constants and which means that 
constant propagation is undecidable and in general therefore static analysis is undecidable uh so having talked uh, so a uh, detailed formal proof is there in the extra slides it's not a part of the videos but you can look at uh, that formal proof and i will be happy to explain that proof to you uh so so let's talk about uh, mfp solution is mfp always computable so the answer is mfp assignment may not always be computable if the flow functions are non monotonic or if some strictly descending chain is not finite then we may not be able to compute mf so let's look at the first example where uh, the flow function f is not monotonic here is this example f flow function f maps 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so this is clearly non monotonic uh, if we look at the subsequent successive computations of f f of x gives us let's assume that x is 1 so f of x is 0 so f square x is 1 and therefore f cube x is 0 f4 x is 1 so clearly mop exists there exists a meet over path solution for all these values and we are talking about a program like this so let's assume that we have initial value is 1 i am i'm trying to map it to this computation so initial value is 1 so that one value reaches here when we compute f of x we get a 0 0 meet 1 gives us a 0 because we want a meet of 1 from here and 0 coming from here which is 0 now f of 0 is 1 now we have a meet of 1 and 1 so this value now here becomes 1 now once again we have a 0 so we get once again get a value 0 so values keep oscillating we have only two values but we can't say that the values are definitely going to stop the computation of values is definitely going to stop so mfp does not exist and is not computable for this particular instance however even with a non monotonic function mfp could exist if the initial value from coming from here is zero observe that when we have zero here we get a zero here now f of 0 is going to give us a 1 here and that 1 when merged with 0 is going to give us 0 so this value will remain 0 subsequent iterations will give us once again a 1 but this value remains 0 so values stabilize so in this case mfp exists and is computable now let's look at the other example when the mfp uh, uh, may not be computable and may not even exist so here is an example of uh, an analysis where lattice is the set of integers negative integer starting from 0 the weak, the partial order is less than relation and the meet operation is uh, minimum meaning at this program point is a value coming from here and there is a value coming along the looping edge and in of this node will be computed as the minimum of the two values so when when we start with x equal to 0 we get this as 0 and then because 0 minus 1 is minus 1 we get minus 1 from here and 0 from here the minimum of the two is minus 1 so the in of this is minus 1 then we subtract 1 from minus 1 we get minus 2 so we have minus 2 and 0 the minimum is minus 2 so in the next iteration we get minus 3 in the subsequent iteration we get minus 4 and this computation will continue to happen all along all the time because we are traversing this chain this strictly descending chain and this strictly descending chain is does not have a finite high this does not satisfy dcc so we can say that this is not computable and in fact mfp does not even exist so in this case mfp does not exist since it does not exist there is no question of computing it similarly mop also does not exist 
However, if we were to change the lattice by adding a minus infinity by adding a bottom element to the lattice. Now we have a bottom element. Uh, note that with this change, the strictly descending chain condition is still not satisfied because you can start from any member and then you say, will I reach bottom in a finite number of steps? So the answer is still no. So strictly descending chains are still not finite. Now, if we start computing, once again, we will end up uh, getting into a computation that does not terminate. So MFP is once again not computable. However, MFP exists. MFP exists if I put minus infinity here and minus infinity. So minus infinity minus one is minus infinity and zero minimum of zero is minus zero and minus infinity is minus infinity. So that is our MFP solution. Uh, out of this is zero, in of this is minus infinity, out of this is minus infinity. So MFP actually exists. But is there an algorithm that can compute it? So the iterative algorithm that we have seen does not compute it, but there exist algorithms, things that we have not covered so far, things we, which we generally do not use in lattice are called widening operators. So if we increase our power and if we say that we have something called widening, which uh, sees a pattern and immediately over approximates everything to minus infinity, in that case, MFP is computable, but without the widening operator, MFP uh, solution is not computable. Uh, with widening operator, the reason why MFP solution can become computable is because MOP exists. Here, even MOP does not exist. So no matter which algorithm you pick up, unless we introduce minus infinity, there is no hope of computing MFP, even with the help of widening. But we are not considering widening in this course. So here flow functions are monotonic but strictly descending chains are not finite and that's the that was the second reason why MFP may not be computable. So here is a theorem that tells us about existence and computation of the maximum fixed point solution. So if L is a meet semi lattice satisfying DCC, F is a monotone function from L to L then MFP of F, MFP of this flow function F is F of K plus one applied to top such that it is same as FK top and FJ plus one top is not equal to FJ top for all intermediate values less than K. So this is how we formally define the maximum fixed point solution and how do we argue about its existence so the claim that is being made is there are many things that are being said. We say that there exists a K, there exists a finite K such that F of K plus one top is equal to F K top. Values will not keep changing. There will be two successive iterations when the values will be identical. And since K is finite, F K top exists and is computable, which means that we have an algorithm which can compute MFP in a finite number of steps. The other thing that it says is FK top is a fixed point because if we apply F to FK top, we get the same value. So it is a fixed point. And the other thing that is being said is FK top is the maximum fixed point. So these are the claims that we wish to prove now. And the proof is actually very easy. It depends on the GLB for every pair of values in L it depends on finiteness of strictly descending chains and it depends on monot monotonicity of F. We need all these things. So here is a lattice. So if we have a top element and we apply F to it, we get this element F top. Clearly every element is weaker than top and therefore F top has to be weaker than top. So if we apply continue to apply F by monotonicity, we are going to get weaker value. What that means is top is, so F top is weaker than top, F square top is weaker than F top because this, these, when these values are comparable, if we apply F to both sides, 
so this gives us f top and this gives us f square top so that will also be order preserving because f is monotonic so f square top is weaker than f top and f cube top is weaker than f square top and f4 top is weaker than f3 top and so on so we have this as a descending chain so when we keep applying flow function starting from top we are guaranteed that we're going to get a descending chain okay now since every strictly descending chain is finite there must exist fk top such that fk plus 1 top is equal to fk top and for all earlier values the values are different which means that we are going down the lattice and our descending chains are guaranteed to be finite meaning at some point of time we won't be able to go any further next computation will hold us at the same point at the same value so that shows that that has proved the existence of a k such that fk plus 1 top is equal to fk top now we have to prove that this is the maximum fixed point so let's talk about some arbitrary point in the lattice p which is a fixed point of f then we have to prove that this fixed point is weaker than fk top and the proof strategy is induction on i for f i top for ith application of f to top the basis is i equal to 0 because f0 top is f0 is identity function so f0 top is equal to top and every value is weaker than top so therefore p is weaker than f0 top so by inductive hypothesis assume that p is weaker than f i top this is our inductive hypothesis now we apply f to both sides so we get f p here and we get f i plus 1 top here so we get fp here and we get f of fi of top and because f is monotonic this condition must be satisfied which means that fp is weaker than fi f of fi of top okay however because p is a fixed point it means that fp must be equal to p and therefore fp is same as p which means that p is weaker than f of fi of top which means that p is weaker than fi plus 1 top so we started with the inductive hypothesis p is weaker than fi top and we have shown that p is weaker than fi plus 1 top it me and we chose p arbitrarily we did not fix any particular value of p so this will p will definitely be weaker than fk top and this holds for every p that is a fixed point fk top must be the maximum fixed point we already know that f of fk top is fk top so fk top is a fixed point and p is weaker than this so which means that every fixed point is weaker than fk top and therefore fk top must be the maximum fixed point so this shows the existence and computability of maximum fixed point assuming that we have a meet semilattice all de descending all strictly descending chains are finite and our flow functions are monotonic